Hi, my name is Amy, and today I'm going to walk you through how to draw and paint a simple monstrance. A monstrance is a special receptacle that the consecrated host, the body of Christ, is placed in and exposed for veneration during Eucharistic adoration. The Blessed Sacrament is a special treasure because it's the real presence of Jesus. So it's often gold and has sunburst designs around it. So I'm going to walk you through how to do everything step by step. For today's project, you need a piece of black paper, something round to trace. I'm using a quarter since my picture is small. Something white to color with. I'm using a colored pencil. A paintbrush. Gold paint. I'm using gold watercolor paints, but you can use acrylic. You could even do... Um, a marker or a crayon as well, and some water. So you don't have to do your mini monstrance on black paper, but I think it looks really nice. This is what it looks like on white paper, just to kind of give you an idea. It's pretty, but it's a little hard to see against the white paper, whereas on the black paper, it has really nice contrast. You can see that monstrance and the details really easily. It also reminds me um, that Christ is um, the light that shines in the darkness. So the first thing that we're going to do is we are going to trace our Eucharist. And I am using a quarter as the stencil for my circle. But you can put it, you can do any size that you want. I'm putting mine, um, if this is the middle of my paper, I'm doing mine just a little bit higher. That way I have room for the stand. So I'm tracing around my quarter using a white colored pencil. And I want to fill that in nice and bright. You could also do this with a crayon, with a pastel, um, with paint, anything that you'd like. I'm going to move my quarter out of the way and I am using um, gold watercolor paint to draw out the design of my monstrance. Um, we're going to do this step by step. So I'm dipping my brush in some water and the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to trace around my Eucharist with gold just matching the same circular shape of the host. This um, circle in gold is representing um, that clear window that it's placed in so we can see it. So what we're going to do next is we are going to draw four lines kind of dividing our monstrance into pieces. So I'm gonna do a longer line up at the top. The harder I push, the thicker my line's gonna be. The less I press, the thinner it's gonna be. And I'm gonna do a extra long one kind of down on the opposite side. And the reason that this one's a little bit longer is this is the stand. Next, I'm going to do one line on the left side and one on the right side. These don't have to be as long, but you can make them long if you'd like. So that creates the first part of my four lines, a little bit longer at the top, a little bit longer at the bottom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide those um, spaces with diagonal lines. So think the letter X. So I'm going to put one diagonal line in this gap. I'm stopping and continuing on the opposite side. And I'm going to do another diagonal line, but in the opposite space.
so I still have a lot of empty space in between each of these lines. So I can continue to add straight lines filling in the gaps, or I can switch it up and I can do a wavy line. So I'm going to show you what a wavy line looks like in those spaces. So I just take my brush and I wiggle it like that. And that just gives me more variety of lines. So you can come up with any kind of pattern that you want. I'm doing straight with however many wavy lines I can fit. I can fit about three wavy lines. So I think I'm gonna continue that pattern where I have straight, three wavy, straight, and then continue adding in wavy lines, filling in the gaps. But if you wanna do a different pattern or you want all straight, or maybe you want all wavy, feel free to switch it up however you choose. You might have noticed on this example I have one other style of line. So I have the straight lines, the wavy lines, and then I have this one where the straight line kind of flares out. Um, I'm going to show you on the back of this um, kind of how you would do that. So on any of your straight lines, if you want a flared line like that, you just add one line on one side, but they're all have the same bottom point and then you add another line on the opposite side. So that can make a neat line as well. Um, because mine is looking kind of full, I think I'm just gonna leave mine just the way it is. So at the top of my monstrance, I wanna add a little cross. So um, you can do any style of cross you want. I'm gonna put two little lines on my main line, kind of like this. So right now it looks like the letter I. And if I add another straight line across and put little marks like this on the ends, it's like an eye but laying sideways, that creates like a nice cross shape and I can thicken it up so it stands out a little bit more. Um, I also want to put in some sort of base. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off with kind of a flat oval shape like this. And I could leave it like that. So I have a nice round base like this. Or if I want it to have more of like that flare, I can add a curved line starting at that oval and going up to the line So it's sloped kind of like this. And then if you want to, you can add in other decorations. I have three little circles along the stand at different places. I like to do things in odd numbers, especially threes, because it reminds me of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, which is a trinity, three. There's my mini monstrance painting. It's really shiny because of the gold I used. And I have a variety of lines. Um, feel free to experiment with the styles of lines that you do. This one I did all the little flared rays. And this one I put a little um, cross in the host. Um, but you could do any kind of pattern or design. You could even like change up um, the decorations um, around the Eucharist, different kinds of stands. Um, you can have a lot of fun playing with that. Thanks for painting along with me. I would love to see how your monstrance paintings turned out. Feel free to tag me on social media. If you liked following along with today's tutorial, you can like this video and subscribe to my channel so you can stay up to date on other Catholic inspired art tutorials. I want to remind you that you are loved. God loves you unconditionally and he loves your artwork unconditionally. Thank you so much for following along with me today.